I've I've read that if you you know you should probably have sex or use it or lose it. You know what I mean? Well, for all I mean, men, for all men out there, let me it. get on the record and say uh, your spouses are supposed to have sex with you five times a week. If they don't, <laughs> they are not doing their job. You will get cancers of all types. Welcome to Dr. Drew After Dark. Please be advised that Dr. Drew After Dark may contain sexually oriented content and be unsuitable for young children. Hey everyone, welcome to Dr. Drew After Dark, phone number 818-253-1693. Do keep those voice messages coming, we love them, as well as the emails at drafterdark at gmail.com. And don't forget the bobblehead at drdrew.com slash shop. You can get that... Uh, slash. Slash shop. Uh, Not plash. Slash chop, shop. <laughs> um, the brains behind the bobblehead is here to give me shit today. The one and only Susan Pinsky. Thank oh, you for joining. Oh, thank you, us. thank you, thank you. So uh, a little different than last time when you came in uh, hungover post the strip club. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna be much nicer. That to this was time. painful. I promise. Definitely painful. We're gonna be much, much nicer. You need to move your microphone. So oh, yeah. Can, there there we go. we go. Thank you, doll. You're welcome. Thank you. So I tried. Had you come with any uh, energy, anything uh, on your mind? Because I've got some ideas. No, I'm going to let you uh, take the ball and run okay. with it today. You, you feeling good? It's nice to be back. Are you nervous? Sorry I couldn't come by last time, but Paulina had COVID. Are you nervous? Not Thank really. You. Okay, good. No, uh-uh. Your legs they are kind, moving more than kind usual. Of, they kind of uh, burned that out of me at the strip club. Oh, good. Yeah. All right, excellent. I'm not hungover this oh, time. Oh, good. That's yeah, good, too. yeah. So, so last week, Doug, <laughs> Doug Mellard was last week, right? Correct. Yeah, we had a, we had Doug Mellard in here, a comedian. Okay. And uh, we got into a conversation about his asshole. Okay. Umberto. Okay. He calls name. it. Okay. His wife calls it Umberto. <laughs> and about spouses and farts that became the conversation. Oh God, I know where this is going. <laughs> Where's it going? I don't know, honey. You so, tell me. So. Um, <laughs> We have a little humor around this ourselves. Yes, we do. It, especially today. Especially today. Yeah, I agree. I yeah. was going to bring that up. Yeah. What What was so humorous today? Well, I'm taking high doses of antibiotics for my jaw. Yeah. Which didn't work for a couple of weeks because I had a root canal fixed and it was not pretty. She got very, she had systemic illness from probably And you were out of town. Yeah, so she, I got couldn't, she got mesenteric paniculitis and bilateral pleural effusions and, and a jaw infection. It just a mess. felt like an alien Freaking baby mess. was coming out of my guts. Oh my God. No, 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 no. Yeah. Th- hang on. She's, she's conflating some things. So, so <laughs> she had the infection. It was a nasty thing. She really was really sick. She had, as I said, mesenteric paniculitis. Go look that up. It's rare. A rare presentation is pleural effusions <laughs> and a jaw infection and a whole mess. Uh, so we started her on these broad spectrum antibiotics. Then the baby felt like it was coming out of her guts because of the antibiotics. I got mesenteric. No, panic- no, that's when the when I was having oh, the back then, spasms. Oh, I'm sorry, I beg your pardon. Okay, let me read that. What we were just it was had like up having there. a baby. Yeah, she was having horrible abdominal pain. It was pains terrible. And a mesenteric paniculitis, a rare benign chronic fibrosing. Well, uh, was in this case was related to infection. Meson- the, the tissue, of the mesentery of the small intestine and colon. The specific etiology is um, blah blah blah. You know, it's infection, yeah, cancer. Because we waited way too long to do the antibiotics. To properly correctly. do the but then like a year. <laughs> but the antibiotics have had their way with you. Oh yes, they have. Yes. They have worked their way right through. Yes, yes. yes. And so this morning was particularly colorful. <laughs> yes. yes. It it was more colorful when you left. Oh, it kept going. Oh, it was it was mind boggling. Oh, really? It was like, almost like you know when you have to go get a colonoscopy and mm. they like do that thing and yeah. everything just. Yeah. yeah. But it's, yeah. but there were pillows of love coming out. Pillows of love. Oh mm-hmm. yeah. Hell yeah. And uh, but we got into further. Sorry, Annie. We got Annie's into, wincing. And, 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 yeah, I can see you over there. I can see everything you do. <laughs> well, this we're going to freak him out even more. So, <laughs> you put him right in my angle so I can look at him. So, so we got in a conversation about farts. <laughs> yes. Okay, Umberto's farts. Uh, with you, you, we haven't named your asshole yet. I mean, <laughs> no. It would be more like Grandpa Jones, I think, than Umberto. <laughs> But uh, in fact, you woke me up with Grandpa Jones. I did. I had yeah. a good one this morning. Yes. Yeah. Woke me up. Eddie, keep listening. And, um, My hair, Chief. And, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we got pretty pretty into the conversation. So glad to be back. And what did I ask Whoa. you to 
What did I ask you to do? Fart in your face. That's what I said. I asked her to fart in my I face. I told you he likes it. I, what? I never have. Well, I asked because... Have I ever? No. I don't think what I have. I, How many times I, have you asked her? This is the first time. And, and I asked because I knew it would freak her the <laughs> fuck out. And, and she practically ran into the bathroom crying when I said that. <laughs> Before so, or after? Well, it's full, a good thing I did full, it because it wouldn't have been a fart. Full of that. It, the, 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 <laughs> I'm telling you, there was a demon... Two days ago, I had my stomach was so puffy, and he was like, he's, "She moves he, right on past that." Oh yeah, it would have been a, like a live episode of your mom's house. Like. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah. So I, I wasn't yeah, actually. You guys want to record it so that we could have it for the next one? Yeah, it's live. not a bad idea. <laughs> oh, no. We'll take it. And, and so I wasn't actually Hell asking. No, her to, I did not, not have. Not ah. Uh. Sometimes it some, happening. So, but this is back to the the conversation. There's some things that I cannot cross that barrier. I'm sorry. We did talk about it though. So, so there, there are, there are. Th this is why I brought up Doug and his wife. Okay. Because there are things that we do interpersonally. Sometimes are just for effect, not because we actually want to do it. Right. Like I didn't actually want you to fart in my face. I know. I wanted to see your reaction <laughs> right. to me saying that. I know. It's pretty much this. It makes me nervous. Yeah. <laughs> it was. And so, why do women laugh at horrible male jokes when they make them nervous? Because that just makes us do it again. Yeah, I know. It's true. Yeah. Um, it's just a nervous laugh. It's like, uh, hell no. <laughs> you didn't say hell no, Ain't though. You sat there and... laughing. And yeah. I thought... it, well, that's a, that's the laugh. That's yeah. what's it come in my mind. And so mission accomplished in yes. our head. And we think, okay, what's the next out yeah. crazy thing I can say? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. How can you never do that back? You love doing that, don't you? Uh, I don't love it, but it does occur to me once in a while. How can you never do that back? I, I don't know. If if you were to come up with something, what what might that be? Something to make you uncomfortable? Yeah. I mean, I've done that a million times. Really? Like a couple minutes ago, I was doing this. I oh, said yeah, that's that. true. I'm okay. Start the show. Like, yeah, yeah. And you went, oh, <laughs> but you didn't laugh. Yeah, because it wasn't funny. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, I think we found it. I think I think you have to be funny. <laughs> that's just part of the record. I'm not trying to be funny. But but men men. The Catherine would, you know. Mike, I have. I mean, I have to think about it. I don't know. What Mike Catherine does this stuff all the time, right? Oh, I know he does. And he's been. He was. Has. It's been a few months since he's been up here, but he was. Old, yeah, old blind I love him. Yeah, and he says and sends you horrible pictures and tells you. He doesn't horrible do that things. anymore since the Me Too movement. It just stopped. His wife must be on him about that. I was that. really bummed. Mm. I mean, seriously, I thought it was so funny. Some I didn't like when he he wasn't allowed to send the. Ones with the rosebuds. Those were gross. I don't like that. Do you know what she's talking about, gentlemen? Oh, yeah. Prolapsed assholes. That's yeah, what that's that was. Meh. Yeah. Well, be, the more you reacted and laughed at that, the more he'd send it, though, you see. But I sent him the one of Kevin. Was it Kevin? Which one was the one of the guy with the big, like, right during the pandemic? Everybody said, oh, so-and-so had COVID, and then you click on it, and there was a guy with a With a huge a dong? Oh, he's going to fillet his penis. <laughs> no, she, everyone knows I sent that. it to him. He, I surprised him. He was shocked. <laughs> He'd never seen that picture? No, I did oh, it first. Wow. Yeah, you I You started the him. whole trend. Yeah, I was very proud of myself. <laughs> that poor man is dead. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry for her, our loss. So otherwise, you're doing well. You're feeling good. You're, yeah, I feel good. We had a good flight out here, mm -hmm. and I was a little worried last week I wasn't going to make it because I couldn't have flown... When you, you Seven were so, days you were, ago. You were so sick. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. But I'm fine now. I'm all better. Good. And you've been... Thanks to antibiotics, everybody. We, we, I, what I've been telling you is... You can live we, past 30 well, if you, you forget, take an antibiotic. You forget the protean manifestations of bacterial infections. But people, back in the day, they would get complications of bacterial infections, and that's what you were into. Yeah, yeah. And I used to see some of that at the county hospital in the 80s. So crazy. And so I recognized it when you started getting all that stuff. It's and it's crazy. so funny because I had the antibiotics when you left, and after the root canal, nobody told me to take them. Didn't take it long enough, yeah. They didn't tell me to take it afterwards. I understand. And I was like, I was thinking to myself, now, shouldn't I be taking antibiotics if I have an infection? And then I couldn't call you and ask. But... um. I, I really thought about it, and I wish I'd gone with my instinct and asked him. Last week, also, we had a voice message from a, a male, a British gentleman, uh -huh. who, uh, how did he put it? Would you be so kind as to touch my camera through the fence or something? Would yeah. you be, uh, he uh, was talking about testosterone replacement in males. 
And I brought up that you'd had some success with testosterone replacement. Have we talked about that before on the show? <laughs> yeah, I think so. We have. Okay. So there's nothing more you want to say? Because you've, you've been kind of off that lately. Well, the thing was, I thought maybe my hormones were fucked up, and that's why I felt so bad. Oops, mm-hmm. sorry. I used that one. But, no, um, not on this show. How dare you? I know. Um, but I was, you know, I was trying to treat myself with that. Like, my doctor gave me some stuff to take, and... And then I felt better. I'm, it's really interesting because when you have pain and you take testosterone like sublingually, mm-hmm. it actually makes you feel better. I'm sure. And estrogen as well. Yeah. Because remember that first time I, my arm was really that stiff? That was different. I think that was different. You think that was hormones? I think that was hormones. Yeah. Okay. What, what happened? She, you know, a lot of the time. I'm getting old. I, you know, something when, happened. When women I got get old, menopausal, when women get menopausal, they can get a lot of joint complaints. It, it ends up being soft tissue complaints, and if their estrogens are off, they can feel very achy in their back and neck and shoulders. And she developed something that sort of didn't didn't feel like it was orthopedic. It felt like something else was going on. She changed her hormones. It went away. And, and we I, had and a hand surgeon on our our live show. Yep. Ask Dr. Drew at drdrew.tv, and he said that a lot of um, post or menopausal women that come in with with joint pain and mm-hmm. hand pain mm-hmm. is ba- basically because of the estrogen mm-hmm. that they you know the estrogen they levels need. are low or the mm-hmm. testosterone is low it's not it's not at the right level so mm-hmm. so i tried the estrogen cream mm-hmm. and it went away yep so there you go i actually have a question because there's a thing i just heard like uh, uh susan you were taking estrogen and testosterone at the same time does that ever like bash no. heads from being mm-hmm. in the same no, no, no. It's good. Okay. I mean, it, it, it's it's trying to establish what your ovaries would normally make. And I only have forget. one ovary, so yeah, and it's gone. It's kind of it, sucks. It, it's it's, yeah, stopped it's had long its ago. day in the yeah. sun. And so and so. <laughs> and, oh, and the other thing we I said we were going to talk about a little bit is uh, Roe versus Wade because we, we haven't had a female. Well, you're all over the place, aren't you? I am. I got oh, okay. Lots of things I want to talk about. Because yeah. I want to get to the the white topics. There's lots of white. Okay, today. we got to talk L- about that. Lots of, oh yeah. I, I know. I you, love white. Well, you love white, but you also <laughs> you also love uh, men preoccupying about their penis. Yeah, I, know I that do. Makes you very very. Happy. I do. I like that. You do. I like men. I think men are awesome. But you, don't you think it's weird the way they think about? And, yeah, I think it's awesome. It's awesome, but not weird. I, I listen. If you know how men are, it's a lot easier to get through life. Really? But when you keep fighting them, it's it's not. It's, give me an example. I mean, just being respectful of the fact that they have uh, needs and they have to release this lovely... Th- this uh, e- they, humors, evil humors. Yeah. They, they the poison. This feeling of, of love and success <laughs> every day. Not everybody every day, but some people every day. Sometimes, or twice yeah. a day, or three times a day, mm-hmm. like any. Depends. Well, when you're younger. Yeah, but yeah. It, I I don't have a problem with it. Okay, but that but because of all that energy, it makes men proud. I didn't really get it. Like the first time I got, I was like, "What is that? Why did the Why do the guys like to come on the woman's face?" Oh, that part. And 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 the dog says because we like it. Because you like it. I said that. Yeah, that's because women said. like it. No, because you said because we like it. Oh, because men like it. What's well, pretty much why we do everything. I and then I kind of did a little research. I think it's because men want to show how hot you are how hot the woman is that it works that it that it, whatever what? you did worked wait we so want, no what? we want to show you how hot you, you don't you under, are. yeah, you yeah are, how you hot are. it was or how the sexual act was like oh here it is oh. i did it <laughs> no i think you're <laughs> I, I think you're fusing a lot of different yeah you are you are ideas into one already thing. way <laughs> overthinking it way overthinking but then We're why way do you overthinking. okay so tell me why you like it I mean, why you do it? Because it's well, I, cool. I, I think it. I think it would differ for each dude. You know, other other dudes have different reasons. Part of it could be degrading. Part of it could be there is a degrading thing there, like, right? Just to let you know where I'm at. You know, part yeah. of right. it's like a territorial thing. I don't know. It could be a yeah. Bunch of okay, you like not, the degrading not, part of it. It's but, not. But are, I mean, I used to think it was degrading. I used sometimes to think, ladies like it. So, sometimes it, it right. is degrading. But that's what I'm saying though is that I think the key that you said and that Drew agrees is that it's because we like it. Yeah. Why we like it? I don't fuck. Right. It's, it's in everybody's. Different, yeah, yeah. but yeah. like men, men uh, okay. they're just—it's very simple. Super I mean, simple. when you could still do it. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're gonna go into your head now. Okay, when you when you did it, what were you thinking? Do you know? Do you remember? No, I, it's I been just a think, few years. So, well, that you said it was a celebration. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what I used to say? Yeah, what a, it's a celebration. <laughs> Congratulations, Drew. <laughs> <laughs> and that was uh, all right. 
Uh, but it for me it was more just a variety. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. We didn't do it all the time. Yeah. Like so, that was not your thing. Really. Men like variety too, right? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. But I think now with the event of porn, it mm -hmm. that's always the way they end it. Like usually. Well, so again, men see stuff when they're younger, and it becomes like, oh, right. I do that, right? And it just becomes this desire. Yeah. It's not. But like it's a matter it, of where you want to put it. You know. It, do, I mean? it doesn't really have any. You it's don't just, don't overthink it. It's fascinating what to is? see men behave like that like that's what they want to do why is that fascinating it because i'm a woman and it's just not it just doesn't i i think growing i mean well just the fact that we would fascinate you already makes us want to do that because we, it's like well okay if we're fascinated right we're or fine. i would allow you to yeah it's it's just interesting it's to me because i it's just so far from anything that i grew up with knowing you know what i mean mm. like that's not that's not something that we practiced all the time like it wasn't mm something when you were able i remember before you had your prostate surgery though i let you do it as much as you wanted because i figured it was going to be over get this yeah. out of it get this no poison. i just figured you're never going to be able to do it again so why not okay. and it, i mean it wasn't my favorite but it wasn't like it bothered me okay i found it kind of odd but you liked celebration. it celebration so. it was a celebration is that what i used to say <laughs> yes <laughs> i think just i kind of remember my my meat <laughs> So, oh my god oh my god so, i can't remember i'm trying to think back uh, yeah drew can you dig deep into why you asked her if you could do that uh i think i was pushing it yeah yeah interesting that would be my recollection yeah i remember like going come on come on my face you're not gonna get to do that again uh oh that's gonna get me in trouble very right very cool <laughs> oh, shit. Man, mark for a promo moment, please. <laughs> instagram will they allow that Yes, they will. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. What did I do? Just okay. consent. <laughs> if our poor children are not already dead, they, this will kill them. They won't watch it. Please, no. Um, so I know emails are last, but can I get a couple can out of... Can you just put the subtitles in Japanese? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, go ahead with the emails. A couple right? emails. <laughs> uh, my name is Avery. I'm 15 years old from Oregon. I was wondering if I'm an early bloomer or if I'm just tatad. I have a little or no interest in people when it comes to romantic relationships. I've tried jerking the wean, but just ends up stopping early on. Keep them high and tight. Uh, fuck Chris. Um, so <laughs> I love that, Tatad. He's 15. If I'm Tatad. Mm -hmm, exactly. I love it. Tatad. I'm going to use that. Yeah, instead of, you can, it gets away from the R word. You're just oh, Tatad. I love it. Yeah, Tatad, ta their R word. Yeah, Tatad. Yeah, we'll just, Tatad. We'll, so a 15 year old gave us this uh, new phrase, new it's term. kind of close. You, I could get in trouble. No. Really? No, no, people would not know what you're talking about. Okay. You're Tatad. Uh, so, uh, first of all, he's 15, and maybe you just haven't developed yet. That's one possibility. Right. Uh, the other possibility is that you you may have some pubertal delay, and what kinds of things cause that can be things like prolactin secreting tumors in the pituitary gland, certain oh. genetic abnormalities, uh, and sometimes like something like Kalman syndrome, some endocrinological stuff. So uh, you might want to talk to a doctor about it. If that's still happening that way at 17 or 18, it's almost always biological. Now, there are people that are asexual and aromantic. They have all kinds of terminologies for them. Uh, be very careful before you identify as such. It's fine if you do, but you want to make sure you don't have one of the medical problems that can cause this. It's because if a, if a male is not having orgasm or not uh, uh, masturbating, Nine times out of ten, there's a biological reason for that. And some of them are serious. Pretty much everything I can think of is curable or treatable. And so you, but you do, some of them are kind of serious, need to be taken but care of. But if he already has hair, then he should, right? If you have, if you have normal stature, normal muscular, normal hair development, that's a sign that it, it probably isn't the usual, uh, you know, pubertal delay. But it, it, I always worry about prolactin secreting tumors in the pituitary gland. They are mm -hmm. much more common than people know. Hmm. Uh, or other pituitary tumors like, you know, uh, hypochromic tumors, that sort of thing. Right. Uh, can no fap cause prostate cancer? I recently been reading that no fap can lead to prostate cancer. <laughs> I'm 38-year-old male. I feel uh, like I'm not like most guys. I don't masturbate. 38. Uh, I don't feel the need. Maybe once a week. Okay. You uh, should. But once a week. Uh, sometimes I can feel, uh, see it come out after my pee, after a long abstinence. Uh, I'm even worried I may have low T, which is a possibility, right? So right. something to look into. The main thing I'm worried about is I've been reading that low ejaculation can lead to prostate cancer. Yeah, I mean, 
I think they're really, first of all, A, we don't know that that's true, number one. And number two, it, I think they're talking about withholding, like people that have need and would withhold from doing it. Right. Worried, uh, do I need to be? No. Do I need to pick my fapping rate up, pick up my fapping? Yes. Uh, and get a sub to a porn site. Bum, bum, bum. Well, um, it wouldn't. Hurt. It's healthy, but it's, he, look, he's at his once a week is not way out of normal. Believe it or not, guys. What is normal? Mm, one to you know, one and a half to two times a week. You know, really? that's sort of more normalish. That's it. Yeah, that's sort of the normalish. Wow. Um, yeah, but but it's not. But plenty of people do more, and there are people that do less. What's right. too much? Too much is where you hurt yourself physically. You hurt your you hurt your skin, or you start getting <laughs> prostatic irritation, or Fair. you know urethral irritation, that kind of thing. Um, so it's we're really the point at which you either have trouble functioning, like you're so busy doing your thing that you can't go to work or can't have relationships, or you actually hurt yourself physically. So you're not recommending that men masturbate more to avoid prostate. No, cancer. I don't think that there's evidence that that's true. But I, I but I would not withhold because that. Then why do they tell you that generally. in the books and stuff like that? No, what they were that was about erectile function after prostatectomy. But no, I've read that if you, you know, you should probably have sex or, you know, use it or lose it. You know what I mean? Uh, that was after, that was for erection. That wasn't for. Oh, I thought it was before too because I've read other places. Well, it's for all I mean, men, for all men out there, let me it. get on the record and say uh, your spouses are supposed to have sex with you five times a week. If they don't, <laughs> they are not doing their job. You will get cancers of all type. There, there will be <laughs> prostate cancer, is certainly one of them, but many others might ensue. So five times a week. Blow just, jobs, right? Uh, no, whatever, whatever the preference is of that particular male. That's, that's what's necessary to make sure we're, we're keeping up. So, yeah, again, I, there may be some connection there. That it's not zero, but it's not a... You know, there, prostatic health is about cleaning the pipes. You can get irritation and prostatitis. Prostatitis is associated with prostate cancer. And maybe if you delay too much, you can get prostatitis. And maybe that's an issue. But I, I you know... I know people have been speculating about that, but I'm not sure I see any direct mm. connection there. And then, well, one, I learned something new today. And then, and then, if you want to know how much that you have to have sex five times a week, uh, <laughs> and, and if, if you want to know how much men are preoccupying with their penis, uh, let's see. I'm now 32. I noticed the veins surrounding my penis along the body and around the head of the penis have become closer to the surface and changed color to much darker tones. Mm. Men are examining their penis. Oh yeah, especially Taking when I pictures of it. Especially when. I, <laughs> Is there any woman, getting close ups? You is, know, is there any woman that like wants that? Like would like say prefer that? Like you don't know. I don't. Know. Women are all over the place. All right. Uh, Only if it's yours. I fear maybe one day I wait. I fear maybe one day while I'm choking the chicken they may collapse. No, I don't feel any pain whatsoever. <laughs> it just looks horrible. Thank you for your time. Sorry if my English is not the best. Uh, I'm from Buenos Aires, Argentina. I started looking at, at uh, Portuguese. I started looking oh, at Oh, good. Yeah. Okay, so Obrigato. Mr. Argentina. Uh, is hot he, sauce is the best. Here we is go. he just saying, he's just like, hey, why is my dick getting veinier as I get older? Yeah, exactly. Uh, and, uh, this is, uh, as you say, a nothing burger. It's right? a nothing burger. Uh, I, I also, suppose, chicks like that. What's that? Also, chicks like that. Chicks like the veiny ones. Yeah, sure. yeah, so it's not dis it's not as though it's unsightly. Uh, I I wonder if there's something you know obstructing the backflow. Like if he, if it's a really pronounced change, then obviously a doctor ought to look at it. There are things that can obstruct down there, uh, lymph nodes and uh, and prostate processes. Um, so it's not without note if it's pronounced, but it's probably nothing. It's, so it's, how does any know that chicks like that? Do you have a veiny dick? Jesus Christ. <laughs> that's what he said. I'm just curious. Yeah, that's the only way you could possibly I'm just know, curious, right? Annie. Do you have a veiny dick? <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's in no pornos whatsoever. No, but it's, it's, it's average veiny. Average veiny. <laughs> average veiny. Average veiny. There are veins within my penis. Yes, I yeah. will say that. Your veins have veins. That. You said chicks like it. I don't, I don't know how. How he'd know that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, can you say that I'm wrong? Me? Yeah. I never really noticed. You don't notice veininess. Yeah, I don't okay. look at like, you know, that's not something I know. But not now I will. I'll look. Picture a veinier dick than a regular dick. Yeah, Is yeah. Is that a better dick? I mean, I think if it's bigger, maybe. What makes a good dick? <laughs> that wasn't the question. Yeah, <laughs> so what makes a good dick? Because uh, Christina had this idea of the perfect, <laughs> the perfect Peter. Okay. Remember the, her talking about that? The perfect Peter. Yeah. Yeah. That was her. Now, 
Now she she loves Tom's, but she'd witnessed a perfect Peter a on, perfect on one occasion. Well, you have a perfect Peter. Yeah, nice nice answer. But anyway. you do. Okay, all right. He has a nice one. All right. But what if it was veinier, Susan? Is it? There's. I, I think, haven't really noticed if your dick's veiny. I haven't really looked. So it's you, not. You never. You don't pay attention to my dick. You don't. You don't pay attention. I don't. You need look to examine at it. it more. I don't, don't look at it. I. It's usually I, how like. Do you, wait. So it, hang on to you. You don't look at it. I don't like <laughs> examine it. Hmm. Look at this. Two hands, huh? Interesting. <laughs> um, and, and See how far so, apart so it is. Is there too? is there something that could make it more attractive? Uh, a penis um, or my penis? I guess your. I mean, yours is great. Um, I think the perfect one is a little tanner than mine. So uh -huh. I should do some tanning. <laughs> no, okay. you can't tan at that. Dark. No, no, you can tan that. No, I think. I think. I don't know. There's all kinds. Um, I get a spray on. I think. I think the harder the better, because then it just, very hard. Okay, that's, that's a good one. Of course, and uh, not too skinny. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. um, maybe fatter. You know. Fatter. I yeah. need to be fatter? No, you're fine. Okay, I'm fine. <laughs> you're fine. But if you had more girth, Drew. I but if I were fatter, it, it, it sounds like that'd be a little better. He doesn't need it. He doesn't need it. He's fine. I heard, no, I'm just I heard, saying, I, You guys heard what I heard. Harder, fatty, veinier. You heard it. We all No, I not veinier. I don't know about veiny. I, I mean, I guess I'll have to look and see, you okay. know, if. If I like that, but no, I, I think that, <laughs> I mean, I like Dick. What can I say? I, I can tell you that I like all sizes all, and all colors all, all, and all you're just whatever. A, you're an inclusive person. Yeah. Right? Yeah. There's no, uh, I'm easy. no penis, no vaginal supremacy with you. Yeah. Okay. I think, you know what the thing is when I was dating is I always wanted to have the right fit. Like if a guy was really good in bed and he had a smaller penis, he worked, it worked out, mm. you know, but I, it, it's sort of a fit situation, mm. you know, mm -hmm. I, I mean, I dated a really nice guy. I really liked him, but it just didn't fit right. Like it hurt like a little mm. bit, like his mm. bones were rubbing into my legs and I just didn't like it. Mm. But you have to, you know, do you, do you think you become, that, you know, do you think that women when they're dating and making decisions about spouses don't pay enough attention to that? Yes, kind of thing? people don't. They, but, sh they and that they should. Yeah, and I had I made a big deal about having good a good fit, and when you and I were together, it was a good fit. Good. So maybe maybe the good fit is yeah. Thank you, thank you. Maybe the good fit is something. Um, I mean, it's a meta. Maybe it's a meta. But I don't. I. I wonder if because nobody ever talks about this. Mm -hmm. I wondered if. I don't know if that's a real thing. If those that kind of fittedness is not just physical, it also goes to a mental fitness. No, there's and, a difference. Like you, you know, if it's too small, it's just too no, no, small. No, no, you're not hearing what I'm saying. If it's too big, it's just no, too no, big. No, no, you didn't hear what I said. There, when if if when someone experiences fittedness, if it either implies a psychological fittedness or is. The reason you feel it that way, it's part of it is a psychological fittedness. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. I'm just, I wondered that when you've said, you've, you've not the first time I've heard you say that. And I, I wondered, is that, does that, because people never talk about that. Yeah, I never, yeah. I always made sure that I like the sex. I wouldn't have been with somebody unless the sex was good. That's just the way I am. I'm kind of sleazy that way. We'll just let that kind of. Let's let that be. Great work, Drew. Thank I know. you. Thank you. You guys keep pulling it out of Thank me. We're getting to I the say? bottom of all. Of oh yeah. I know. I knew we'd get there. Yeah. And we're, I'm trying to be nice to you today too. Last time we were, I was. I know so, you were so mean to me last I was, time. I didn't mean to be mean. You're lucky I came back. No, I didn't mean to be mean. I, and I apologize if it was mean, but I, I was a kind of, I wasn't aggressive. At the end, you were. What did I say? I can't remember, but I, I told Alana and. I want to say hi to all our fans. Hi, Alana and Chris and Tom. Alana's and, this, this and Casey and everybody who who watches. The, on the, on the I'm on happy to be back, Kristen. On the streaming show. Yeah. So I, they they've all been dying to see me again. So thank here, you. good. Okay, good. Yeah. Um, but uh, but I was um. What was that? I had a certain feeling I had about. Well, you know what it was. It was that um, you wouldn't even let me ask some of the things i wanted to ask i know <laughs> so, i was so tired i was afraid I, 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 but <clears throat> go ahead ask him now you really want to get into it yeah i want to know <laughs> i can defend myself a little better today I'm, I'm, i've had some time um there was one stripper <laughs> that i liked yes, yes. That you like and you were pretty had a few drinks at that yes. point. 
and I was watching you watch her. <laughs> and here it comes everybody. And, and it reminded me of like the car, a cartoon character who just been hit on the head, where their their heads like going dazing, back and forth, yeah. and, and wow. there was like birds flying around their heads, squir- <laughs> like blue blue birds going up. I love like that they were, you're like, like analyzing were, me. Like I didn't were, analyze you. Well, I'll stop right here. Like I, you know, I know a lot of weird stuff goes on in strip clubs, mm-hmm. but I didn't notice anything because I wasn't paying attention to it. Mm. Drew was like just analyzing me, and well, I was preparing. I, for I the... wish that I had done that to him and made him go do all this other stuff. But that would have been good. I was very open to it. It was fun. Yeah, and, and I had, you know, you get into sort of a weird trance. Yes, you, know, I can you were see in a trance. How, I can see you, how you people. Were a, yes, I can see how people go to a strip clubs all the time because like when i went home i was like wow that was really fun the next day i was like that was really cool like i can see it's sort of like a a place to just go and be relieved and not think about anything else yes you know any is that right it's not a it's kind of a for for men probably that's part of it getting away from everything and just sort of being in a daze of sorts a happy but it, but it's probably not place. different than what porn does for men too similarly you know similar kind of days i guess yeah but it's social and yeah, yeah. i don't know i i get it I, it was in the world to be fair at least you're part of the world like pornography you're in some abstract you know you're not in the world yeah any go ahead no <laughs> i wasn't gonna say anything. come on come no, on no he's not gonna he's not going opinion. down there how about you nadav uh what's the question is it? Do you go? You kind of get. In a, can you get into a just sort of trance like? And as you're watching those women, I mean, in a certain like you can, but like very quickly you realize like, oh, I'm here with people that I know. Yeah, so yeah. It's kind of weird. Right. I mean, like I was trying to get Drew to have fun, but he's like, oh no, I can't get near he the can't. stage or where there's good lighting. People he won't, won't do that. anything. That's the funniest part, man. You were analyzing everybody except the strippers. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you're right. That guy no, you're us. right. That was the part that was the most <laughs> interesting to me. Because uh, the strippers, I mean, I think I understand what's going on there. You know, I, I didn't really need to examine that. I, I kind of got it. I know. But the, I, the men were, and and by the way, how much I had been a strip club in thirty years, right? Right. And, and how much it had changed. It was more homey, which was, and I could tell who the regulars were. Like this was their living room. It was right, very weird. Right. It was kind of weird. Sort of an escape. Anyway, somewhere to escape. All and, right. You know, but you. Usually you don't go with your husband, and then they, he analyzes you live in front of two hundred thousand people when yeah, you get back. Yeah, not usually. Not usually. And tells everybody that you, you We're in a liked trance. one of the strippers more than. Yeah, I listen. I was getting into it. I'm sorry. That's allowed, Susan. It's all good. That's why you're there. That was the. That was what we went there to do. That's right. I mean, I didn't get a lap dance or anything. No, wasn't, just got motorboated. Yeah. <laughs> No, she got motorboated, not me. Well, who's she's the motorboat tur tur, and yeah. you're the motorboat did. You're you got motorboated. <laughs> no, 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 no. She was no, motorboated. I'm, saying, I'm, saying, I'm, I'm a, your wife is the motorboater. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> she got motorboated. Susan? Yeah, right. No. That's how I would say. <laughs> the stripper went into Susan's chest. No, Susan no. went in. Why? I, I can't believe Susan got motorboated. No, she no, did not. no, no. I was the motor boater. Okay. She was well, the motor right. brody. Right. I think Nadav's right. <laughs> motor brody. I am right. No, right. No. It, it, if it, I went up, look, if I went up to you and I... <laughs> motor boated me. If I motor boated you, your yeah. head's in my chest. So I motor boated you. So Susan got motor boated at the strip club. Right. Exactly. What? Okay. It's good enough. We, we know what we're talking about. Can't we know we're going to talk. Let's go to some, let's go to some voice Send messages. Send all your emails and get the grammar correct at voice contact mails. at drdrew.com. Uh, let me do a couple more emails sure. here. Uh, baby making blockage. Why when, my, when I'm with my wife, we're trying to make our daughter, I couldn't come. I, still, I felt like I was a virgin trying to get my first nut. It was really awkward. As always, keep my high and tight. You can call me daddy. Uh, <laughs> uh, you are nervous, my friend, and maybe your wife is putting a little heat on you because the women, this is another interesting topic. Women, when babies are definitely part of the process, feel differently about the whole act. Right. right? Talk about it. Well, women are built to get pregnant and have babies. That's our that's our brain. That's our biology. Mm-hmm. We're From the time we get go through puberty, our instinct is to find a man and procreate and that's how our genes are so we want to have more sex when we're fertile than when we're not Mm -hmm. so you know maybe she's pushing them to get pregnant and they they are but but they're specifically for the first time trying to make a baby right and and how would a woman 
how would her how might her attitude change towards her partner when there's that shift in intention? She'll be more aggressive. Aggressive. So yeah. maybe he feels because of he's yeah. very aggressive. Like, get over here. Yeah, aggressive. Get and, it on. And, and is it more? What other elements come into it when a woman is trying to procreate? Is it is it better in some way? For the female, I mean, I think it. I think it was better for you when I thought I could get pregnant mm, because then, because I knew that I had a job to do and I was willing to do it. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you still have one. I'm sorry to tell you. Yeah, but that was a long time ago when I was not, you know, testosterone laden. I but, see. Um, I see. I see. It, but but I did remember when the doctor said I would be able to get pregnant, which I couldn't, and our sex life improved, mm. and then. And then when I found out I couldn't and I had to have in vitro, it changed. And mm. you asked me one day, mm. why is it changed? I said, well, I just feel like, you know, knowing that you're fertile makes you want to have sex more mm. because there's a chance you'll get pregnant. Is there anything, the experience you're having different when you're having sex with fertility? Um, well, yeah, you're really happy if the guy comes for sure. Huh. <laughs> yeah. And not on your face, okay? It yeah. has to be. No, I get it. I understand how babies inside. Are yes, deep inside. So, so you wouldn't describe the experience as more arousing or more erotic. Or I think more... so. Maybe, maybe. Mm. I, I thought. It, I mean, I've always had great sex with you, but mm. I just remember being a little bit more excited to have sex when I knew okay. that I was going to. Okay. Procreate. So it's just it. it's just more motivation than anything. Yeah. Else. All right. A 31-year-old male last night I decided to masturbate in bed because I was having a hard time falling asleep. From about I'm about two weeks sober from alcohol, including a week-long detox hospitalization. When I climax, I got no pleasure from the sensation, sensation and instead got a powerful headache in the back of my head. My heart started pounding. I went deaf with a loud ringing in my ears. Everything slowly went back to normal after 30 seconds. You bet I'm coming up in May. Um, yeah, so Ow. that Whoa. those, you know, post-coital headaches, so to, so to, you know, post-orgasm headaches are rather common um they I, sometimes it's medication related i wonder if you're on any medication right now for so you just were hospitalized uh you know two weeks ago oh, and, yeah, that's and by the way the seizure risk continues for a couple of weeks so be careful with that uh but sometimes it can be a sign of a bleed and interest cerebral bleeding uh -oh. so you do want to the fact that you didn't say your neck was stiff or had any pain in your neck is probably a good sign well is definitely a good sign uh, but, but if you did have stiffness in your neck then the bleed is more likely uh, but I would, you know, talk to talk to a doctor about wow. that. Wow, I've heard about that before. Uh, this morning, my boyfriend was giving me the D. He's a girl. <laughs> Hell yeah! Uh, instead of usual foreplay, we cut right to the chase. I was not horny, <laughs> not as wet as usual. After he made white, it looked different than I'd ever seen. Instead of thin and clearish, it was thick and white. Why was this? He says friction, maybe. Hot sauce <laughs> is the best. <laughs> Um, friction maybe baby yeah oh my gosh that's so funny. uh white and thick just means it's been a while since he has cleared his pipes that's more likely than anything and the fact that you are not creating any secretions to th to further dilute it right does that make sense mm -hmm. so no dilution from her secretions it'd been a while you know as you said he's right. obviously was ready to go so that's that uh, let me see if there's anything what else makes there. guys like come really far um sometimes that's build up in the seminal vesicles so if it's been too long and some of it is definitely um uh muscular you know mm -hmm. if they're they're young and, and good pelvic floor musculature right but, right but it can actually be uh you know a lot in the you know the amount of arousal and the amount in the seminal vesicles is there a troublesome distance that it could travel no no but it <laughs> but if, if you travel a long way and, and like you hurt afterwards that's like maybe you need to step it up a little bit yeah that's all. It's just it's there's good a, question. And by the way, wait, it, wait, wait. If it goes far and it hurts, maybe you need to step it up a little. Meaning, bit? go ejaculate more frequently. Oh, I got you. Got you, yeah. got you, got you, got you. Um, but you're. It's definitely it's sort of a younger male thing to have that. Right. It, it definitely that definitely settles later. Is it? Does it change by the size of the dick? No, it doesn't. No. No, it doesn't. All right, let's get some weird uh, videos here. I have here. all these questions. Yeah, this is the place to bring them. Uh, <laughs> TikToks, everybody. All right. Do not come. Do not come. <laughs> That's it? Guy's eyebrows? Yep. Pretty cool, right? That's a cool dude. Cool tats also. What is going on there? Look Looks at the like little, some dragons. Look at the weird thing around his nipple. Oh, <laughs> my God. So look at that evil look on his face. Like, <laughs> I just can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guessed it. All right. All right, moving on. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you. Uh-oh. 
Hello everyone, Wicked Author, James Auden here. Wanting to do a little experiment today. If you guys don't mind participating, let's see how many Wiccans we actually have on this app. Um, how about we do a little thing where if you're Wiccan, you like the video or leave a comment, pass it along to your other Wiccan friends, we'll get it going all around this app, and we'll see just exactly how many of us there are. I don't know. Hundreds? Thousands? Hundreds of thousands? Let's do it. Why not? I, I'm i confused by so many things. Wiccans? Well, why? He, he I think he just wants to find out how many Wiccans there are in the United States or in the world. And then what in the hell? Is he, got he like a, a Wiccan? A, a, yeah. He's got like a Bunsen burner going. He doesn't look like a Wiccan what, to what, me. What is going? He does not look like a Wiccan. I agree with you. I mean, Wiccans usually are all black and they have like black I mean, eyeliner. Yeah. And, Black hair. Black nails. Yeah. And, right? I, I, Christina, I guess I shouldn't Christina be. Christina would have been a Wiccan if she had been around during the right. Wiccan craze. But right. what is going on in the foreground? Like a Bunsen burner or something? I think it's just the candle. Why? why it sounds like you heard the... Wiccans love... He's candles. in a garage something. Yeah, or something. I mean, no. he's just... I don't know. He is in a garage. He's in a place where it's not soundproofed or sound. I see. You know, it's well, just he's just in his normal Wiccan habitat. He's and I. But the the more interesting thing is the uh, baseball cap on backwards and the blades on his eyes. Uh, <laughs> textbook Wiccan. The textbook Wiccan. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Give me another one. He's an author of a Wiccan. He's book. a Wiccan author. So yes. maybe he's yeah. Maybe, maybe he's it's writing a, a different. Book about oh, it. oh, oh, here we go. Oh no, Japan, Jeff. We're out Japan. <laughs> First. What's he call himself? It's jumping jacks without jumping. Oh, I see. I see. Well, yep, yeah, that's what he's doing. Real pro. Uh huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Good for him. It makes me wonder if he understands what jumping jacks are for. I mean, he's I doing love that half T-shirt. Of it. Look at that T doing half of it. You're funny. Look at that T-shirt. What does it say on the wall and the door? I mean, he's getting his circulation flowing. What does it say on the on the door there? Moop, Moop. Moda, a? Moda, Moopa, Moopa. What is that? No clue. A male fupa, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Oh no, he's, he's this guy must have worked at an airport. Oh look, he's like land your plane, oh, turn the oh, engines oh, off. Oh, he's That's doing. It. He's. Oh, is he gonna? What's he doing? Well, There's is, another like two he, minutes he's, of this part. He's of, of holding his arms hold. up. Can you just skip he, he's forward? He's having a hard time. Oh. There we go. Got to get it back there. He's clapping re- in the back. He got arrested between sets. <laughs> <laughs> had a dissociative episode. God bless him. And it just keeps going. So what's on his shirt? Is it like a Japanese yeah, pagoda thingy? Yeah, something the, like that. Yeah. So he's... What, what does he think he's doing? I'm fascinated. Okay. Well, thank you for that. There's no pagoda. Those are, those are like Chinese words. Oh, it still goes. Oh, it's Oh it's my God, Chinese. we're seeing it from the back. It's not working in the back. This is to Todd, right, everybody? <laughs> you know how you know how when they bring the planes in with the with mm-hmm. the uh, flashlights Maybe and they're doing this and they do that. Looks like he belongs at the airport. Jumping jacks without is, the jumping. Is there more? Wow. I mean, more just this. <laughs> like, oh it just goes God. on and on. It's just qu- he's just quietly working out without. Joking. Is it? Is it a? Is this a, a TikTok live? He Why did? would you tape this? And right. That's what With I'm wondering. Kevin to, King to teach the world how to do jumping jacks without jumping. Kevin King five two seven. Does he? Does he speak to the at any point to the crowd? <laughs> just in the beginning to set it up. I think. Yeah. And that's it. It yeah, goes all the, the way. Through. Yeah. yeah. He's just like these are jumping jacks without jumping. <laughs> I can't. Wow. That's Man, TikTok is a fascinating place. <laughs> <laughs> Where do we think he is? He's in his bedroom. Maybe think? China. He's got a Chinese shirt or a Japanese. That looks Definitely more ja- in his bedroom. I don't think that in looks, China. I don't think in China. That looks like either. Japanese. Uh, I'm just trying to take in the rest of the. Uh, yeah, it is sort of Chinese. I think art, and uh, and maybe the, Japanese. More, more than one Japanese. calendar. More than is Chinese. More than one it calendar. Is? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. And he's straightening us out here. He's got it. He's got his calendars I all tried. lined up. <laughs> I tried, but I'm not. <laughs> hey, how about another cool guy? All right, yeah, let's go. Yeah, We're just he's sitting here staring, he's staring with I'm amazement. I'm confused why you Kevin. showed us this. Yeah, yeah, very confusing. It's just on the curation of uh, yeah. Christina's TikTok. Yeah, Christina. Oh, this is Christina. Yeah, these hoes dancing in like little sluts on these uh, websites. More important than actually telling the truth about our government and our country. Uh-oh. These sites block us for speaking the truth about trash 
but yet they f- show all this. That's it? He doesn't even finish? Yeah, it was right there. Ah! Oh, my God. You know what's cool, though? Is I don't that like he him. did remember to mute the TV that's clearly on. How Because you, you can see it in his glasses? <laughs> no, like, take a look at the flicker. You know? yeah, 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 there it dancing is. Dancing in, like, little sluts on these uh, websites. <laughs> More important. Like, he definitely saw something. No. He's like, I need yeah. to do this and make a TikTok immediately. But, but now that, he, he's, he, you can see the TV in his left lens of his, of his glasses. On the, it's all yeah, on the left you, side. It's what coming is from the TV? Can we, I can't get close enough to see. Is that a TV? telling the truth about yeah. our government yeah. and our country. Oh, he's looking, you know what? It's, it's like a commercial break. That's why he's Is it that, that or is it like C-SPAN? It looks like it could be C-SPAN. These sites block us for speaking the truth about trash, but yet they show all this. Whatever. Oh, maybe he just saw like a new segment about yeah. TikTok. He's like, I got to tell the people. Yeah, whatever, so, dude. He's saying that they show all the trashy girls, but they don't let us talk about the truth. The about truth it. about the, the terror, the horror, horrors of this country. Whatever. I, I don't have time for guys like this. Sorry. Oh, well, here's a little bit more. Oh. Go figure. I post something about libtards, and it instantly gets blocked. You pussies can't handle the <laughs> truth, can you? You sniveling bunch of little wimps. Go back into mommy's basement where you belong, you little pussies. <laughs> <laughs> now I think he's funny. Yeah, that was actually a good part. Oh, my goodness. Um, oh, yeah, it, just a reminder, th- there are ways to... <laughs> <laughs> There are ways to reach guys like this, but it's not through through argumentation. You have to go, dude. Are you okay? <laughs> you feeling all right? Everything or good? I, I really, I I feel for how you you're feeling about this. Yeah, like, you seem very upset. Yeah, like reflect yeah. back. Like this is very disturbing to you, isn't it? Uh-huh. And just make that content. What was Didn't, that guy? That persuasion guy. D- Dave McCraney. Yeah. Dave McCraney has what, a new book called How Minds Change. How? Did, what did he say? Remember the, uh, the the term for it? No, he said like you you. You tell them, you show empathy. Empathy, yeah. It's, a little, it's active listening, compassion. Yeah. Like not empathy, really, more than compassion. So, Instead anyway. of being triggered by it and say, fuck you. Yeah, you know. it'd be easy to go, oh, yeah. ugh. Yeah, Or Or eliminate, you know. What these, is it really that happened that made you so mad? You, well, you wouldn't get started that's like with that. like therapy, right? Yeah, therapy is very, very similar. It's, it's just give people the chance to sort of reflect on their own stuff. Right. Do you that's hear all. what you're saying? I hear I hear what you're saying, yeah, you but elaborate. It, you metabolize it, you send it back. Uh, Instead of and, just call it name see what, calling, see what they do. Because p- people, we, we metabolize things back and forth. You know what I mean? We don't just we don't. People think it's some sort of like a almost like a card game or something. It's not. We we bring things together, and whatever is going on with each of us changes each of us, mm-hmm. and one brings it back inside and looks at it, thinks about it. And brings well, it's it just back. like the right's fighting the left, and mm-hmm. they don't like the libtards, and then they don't the libtards don't like the right tards. The tartars. Conservatives. The tartars. T- t- tartars. 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 You nailed the that. The Tartars. Yes, Tartars. Thank you. All right, we got another right? one? Yeah. yeah. And everyone should make contact. All right, so Ooh. here is my Hot taste sauce is the best. Um, I love it a lot. I, How does... I don't like really that. The... What? <laughs> what? Let's just <laughs> zip, 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 zip. How does that relate to what we're seeing right now? <laughs> just the fact that he's in a bathroom taking a picture with a bunch of shit on the counter. I'm just saying. He has pig ears. <laughs> it reminded me of what we did. That's all. Oh, you're talking about the, the little reel that we did. Yes. Oh, that's okay. That's interesting, interesting to see that connection. Time to, okay. Yeah, when we did the little dance in front of the camera. In yeah, front of the, oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Does he have so, any pants on? Oh. Oh, yeah. This is please, a, I yes. Think this is a onesie. Oh, you better, okay. you better, it, he looks naked. You better start no? over. I, oh, he's I, I just gotta, got gold short pants. And on. has he got weird ears on, or is that the hat? Or oh I, my god, start over. Oh my goodness. All right, so here is my Chase costume. Chase, um, I love it a lot. <laughs> I, I don't like really that the fact that you know, like printed on instead of like actually embroidered. But I mean, I guess it's just a cheap costume. Uh, I really do love it though. It's actually pretty cozy. I don't also like the fact that the sleeve, the his fur on the sleeves were printed on. It looks a little oh, weird. Yeah. But overall, I absolutely love it. It's it's really cozy. Um, oh my god. And yeah, this will be a great Halloween costume. Oh my god. Now I'm gonna try on my Marshall one. He's never gonna get. I'd laid. also like to point out the fact that <laughs> it's got a tails dick? on it. Oh. <laughs> That's really it's a tail cute. suit. <laughs> it's just like the Hello Kitty and my Melody onesies that I have. This one has me all fired up. <laughs> I think that's what Marshall says. I don't know. Aw. Are you guys Paw Patrol That's kind of cute. Oh, it's Paw Patrol. I couldn't understand the different things. 
it makes me so. I, I mean, oh. this guy, this guy, this guy is so cool. He Let's is face really it. cool. He he mm -hmm. um he really does love this. Thank God my kids aren't like that. No, I know, and and he's must be what thirty five or something. He's behaving like an eight year old, and it's sort of again it makes me sort of. I know sad. it's it kind of cute sad. though. It, so how do you react to that? Definitely not sexual. He's got yeah. He's to, just he's he's stunted. His growth stunted somewhere. Somewhere like, yeah. Like maybe like twelve. It, it, it reminds me a little bit of the diaper wearing guys a little bit. Yeah. They just sort of have that same kind of attitude. Yes, I feel bad. But he's, I, but I he always, listen. He's probably got a following. So and he seems does to he, be. Does he have a following? Uh, well, Christina found it. Yeah, yeah. he seems happy and delighted, and God bless him. <laughs> it, 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 whatever makes him happy, I know, makes me happy. But it, the real. He's Christ shaving, so he's old enough to shave. Right, he's got and he uses cream. deodorant. Nice, good. Thank God. But the the provided that's his bathroom, I imagine. Uh, but uh, real cool <laughs> guys always make me sad. They I always know. make me sad. It's kind of I weird. Know. Well, All right, give me another one. Ta ta. Ta ta. Oh, pretty little mouth. Uh, you are going to be a very addictive problem. Uh oh. Uh, this guy rocks, dude. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. That just made my tits that hurt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I swear to God. Oh. I mean, seriously. I mean, I've got like goosebumps. It's like, oh God, what do I do? What do I do? If I had like a, if somebody did that to me, I would like, I don't know what I would do. Run out screaming. I mean, I mean, I've, we've had stalkers before, but this is like weird. Oh. But it went by so quick. Hold on. Let's just watch it. Oh, it was enough. <laughs> Pretty little mouth. Ooh. You are going to be a very addictive problem. Oh. Ew. Uh, <laughs> ew. Uh, so cool. That gets a double ew. Ew. Uh. Oh my! Doesn't Lord. make me sad. He must not be a cool guy. Maybe Wait, if you put. It make you feel? We should get that uh, guy in the pajamas. Yeah. That would be. That would be, be an interesting match. Yeah. 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 Oh um, God. He, he makes me afraid. Ew. Yeah, it's afraid and disgusted. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm but sorry for that's, him too. What's the feeling? He's like a. He's like a psycho killer. Does it help that that is not his voice and he's just like imitating somebody else? Because that's what? something that you should know. Oh, like a oh. duet? Yeah. That's oh. that's him duetting somebody else. So like somebody else said that thing and he just wanted to pretend like that was him saying Right, it, so he's you know? lip syncing this. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Oh, so it's from a movie or something? Not a, Definitely not a movie. <laughs> uh, I think it's like another TikTok. I think we found it, right? Oh, uh, okay. Creepy dude. Some creepy dude that does look like a fucking serial killer. Another <laughs> creepy dude. This dude just wanted that vibe of like, I'm a badass. So this is acting. It, exactly. Is he yeah. joking right. though? Well, it worked. No. Yeah, acting, then this guy should. He do, should get the job. Yeah, he should get the job. Yeah. Then I, I want to hire him. So it. now that we know this, let's just take a look at it one more time. That's no, the I want, I want the one, the original one. That's the one should freak us oh, out. Pretty little mouth. You are going to be a very addictive problem. You can kind of see how the mouth doesn't line up. Oh, yeah. yeah. But I think he's joking. I mean, with the yikes on the screen. Yeah, is that him? Eyes kind of move did he put the yikes or did Christina put that up Christina or somebody else? Christina put yeah. that. Well, in any no, event, he, so, he had a look in his eyes that looked a little authentic and scary. So uh, good for him. Oh, he acting. got me. Yeah, if, he, he got if that was an acting audition, he just got yeah. me. He got the job. All right. So on this same lane. Uh-oh. Your little pussy belongs to me. And you're gonna learn to do what I fucking tell you to. What has he got on his eyes? <laughs> what is what is some filter? Yeah, it's a super weird, cool filter. Oh, it's a filter. Yeah. I thought it was some sort of weird contact <laughs> lens. Your little pussy belongs to me. Oh my god. And you're gonna learn to do what I fucking tell you to. Yikes. Whenever I see stuff like this, I just think, oh my god, what women have to put up with, it's unbelievable. It really is. It really is. How do you do it? I don't understand. You say that and, to me every night. And how do you? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for being here. <laughs> Back next time. <laughs> yeah. But you don't put those eyeballs in. That, that's no, creepy. I don't. But but I I do, it, I do it, it. It would God. be a struggle to continue to be find men appealing. My first right? thought was if you come into too many of those guys. My first thought was the power of the pussy, mm -hmm. and how men are just obsessed. Mm -hmm. Some mm -hmm. of them. No, yeah, they all. And are. why? Not all men like mm -hmm. are like that. They they are not open about it like that. But their right. their brains are there. But but. 
what would cause something like this to make a tape and and say that to somebody? It, the, whatever same impulse causes them to send a dick pic. Desperation. Desperation. They think it. They they had somebody respond positively. That's they not, thought. Yeah, that doesn't you know, turn me on at all. I can imagine. Desperation never does. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, but it's about the other guy either. And, yeah. and they're very confused about women too. Very confused. And you got to remember that we are reared with all this. They're just like you. They're just like you. They're the same exact you. Same, 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 same. Yeah. And uh, so they go, okay, well, what might turn somebody on? Okay, I'll try this. Who exposes themselves like that? It's weird. It's and interesting. At least, you know, they know where to find him because they're going to track him on the phone. If he, if somebody comes up dead, they're, but I don't think he intends to kill anybody. I really the other don't. guy might have, but no, it just but it's just weird that I don't know. Are they get in? Do they just get super sexually into them? Like are they? So here's where these come from, and the way Christina explains it make, makes all of these make perfect sense. Okay, okay. Tell me. is that this is the lane of horny talks, and it starts on Thursdays, and from Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and a little part of Sunday. People go on TikTok and just make horny videos. They're like, "Oh God, I'm just looking for someone to right." So, and so, so all these ones that but you're you would finding think, really but because creepy. to me, it's it like he's it's like he's been jerking yeah. off, and then he gets this rush of adrenaline, and then he just says whatever's on his mind. Maybe or maybe just before. Yeah. Uh, I think it's more men are more just <laughs> right, before, before when they're yeah when horny talk, right? Yes. So yeah, and, I get it. Like and, and, but, it, it but doesn't it, make sense. But yeah. men think that it's. It's something that might get some positive. They they don't wouldn't do it if they really thought it was gonna be horrifying. Right, like on yeah. Thursday they're like, oh my god, I'm about to jerk off. Yeah. This is me at my sexiest. Let me yeah, make a TikTok exactly. Real quick. They really do think they're doing something right. And he's got those blue eyes on, and he thinks he thinks that looks. Is good. there more? Oof. And the little pussy belongs to you. <laughs> and you're gonna learn to do what I fucking tell you to. Oh my god. Very cool. <laughs> Well, doesn't really make horrible. me doesn't make me feel bad for him, so probably not a cool guy. Let's keep going. Yeah, you got something else there. I love talking to my cousin Alice Casey a lot because I miss her so much. I love her so much on my heart. I care for her so much. I want to see her. I love talking to her a lot because <laughs> I enjoy her company. I enjoy being with her. I enjoy seeing her. I enjoy hanging with her. She's awesome because I love her so much. Uh, uh, definitely, Rain Man, Rain Man, Rain Man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there's there's a. Oh a God, non-neurotypical, a non-neurotypical. Mm, poor guy. He's uh, more. He's more of a cool guy, right? Uh, yeah, he's more of a cool guy. What's in the background there? It's intriguing. I'm it's always a big piece of art. Yeah, but anyway, he seems happy and he likes his cousin. Is that what we found out? That was and, his uh, cousin. He loves his cousin. Loves his cousin. Loves hanging out with her, and uh, loves hanging out with her. All right. Definitely cousin. Cousin. Definitely cousin. <sighs> Great. All right. On to the next one. <laughs> Great. Get your mouth down there. Uh -oh. Put a smile on my face. Uh -oh. <laughs> Horny talks, baby. <gasps> oh. <laughs> you like her? Oh my! Or is that her? It is her right? Gosh. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. yeah it's not. Is that a non-binary? It's that a they. Actually? I don't know. Man. It's a yeah. they, honey. But but um. Oh my gosh. They are. Uh, She's green. They are horny. Yeah. She's probably got horns too. Strangely appealing. What in the heck? As a person, not necessarily as the whole <laughs> message, but <laughs> is she a little? Get your mouth down there, and put a smile on my face. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually funny. Yes, it's funny. I that like was her. funny. Yes, okay. I like her. We like her. What's her name? We can't see it. I don't see it. Uh, don't have her name on here. Oh my god, is she? She's like straddling. What is she straddling? It's like a weird. It looks like a kid's. She's in a car. Yeah, yeah it's it a in a car? car. But why is? Oh, is it's she, a Kia. She's up on the steering wheel. Steering wheel. I think she's like, kind of a small person. Yeah. Like, you know, vertically challenged. <laughs> I think I think she's a trucker. <laughs> no, no way. Like that's a truck. No, it's just Kia. It's just backwards yeah, I think there. Kia's my yeah. No, I know, but the it's so low. It's down in her crotch. Yeah. And it's tiny. It's a small So wheel. is that something that Hey, here's another TikTok. Wait, that's weird. <laughs> with a little with a little I'm oh. confused. Some wild strawberries. They're full of potassium. We're supposed to like that? Am I supposed to be uh, interested in her doing that? She starts foaming at the mouth. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. And then she uh, starts foaming at the mouth and dies. Squeeze box <laughs> traveler, everybody. Squeeze box traveler. Uh, mm. That was very nice. Uh, Drew, <sighs> what are the possibilities that those actually were not strawberries? Yeah, and I was those thinking... Were, like, how bad can a, can a wild berry Yeah, do I wonder if you? it you know, was like a... 
there's some berries in the wild you should not eat. Yeah, They're and I have, I have very little knowledge on that basis. But I, mostly I'm preoccupied with the giant leather belt around her neck, <laughs> which I think is probably connected to her accordion. She her, Because her, <laughs> thi- her thing is squeeze box traveler. Right? Right. Huh. I think there's an accordion. That doesn't look like a strawberry to Smart me. Chad, is squeeze box another name for an accordion? Squeeze box is a, an accordion, yeah. Huh. You ever I heard think, the Who song? Yeah. Oh, my God. Mm. I squeeze Thank you, Chad. My dad, her name was... Oh, right. right. Drew's got it. No. Uh, but <laughs> but Smart Drew, Smart Chad. Those do look like wild strawberries. Yeah. They actually do. Let's do. But that? but get her standing back from the uh, rock again, because I think you'll see more of the instrument there. And she's got the full hippie gear on. She's the squeeze box <laughs> traveler. Yeah, she picks it up with her lips. Mm. Like a, yeah. and I like, mm. Look, uh, mm. I think that's an accordion. Maybe it's just suspenders. I think it's an accordion. There's something attached to that. I don't know. Or there should be something. There's supposed to be an accordion right. attached to it. She unhooked it. She unhooked it. That's what that is. She looks like the kind of person that knows the get, difference between berries. Give me an. Give me a. <laughs> <laughs> give me. You're right. It's true. Give me a picture of an accordion neck strap to see what. See if we. Oh my god! Come on now. So fun. You can do that for me. Come on now. Accordion. Did we do voicemails today? No, we've just had so much fun. Oh, oh my God. Susan was one long voicemail. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. Uh, see, that's. I always screw this show up. Isn't that it? It's oh, it. Yeah. There it is. That's the exact model yes, that she that has. Is it. The, uh, the old Thoman 70 Pro accordion <laughs> strap flowers. <laughs> oh my God. That's too funny. All right. So, it, Drew. Anyway. Squeezebox Traveler tipped me off. Do we, we have more as long as we're just watching videos oh, here? there's a shit ton of give me, give me a couple. We can do a couple of voicemails if you want. All right, a couple of voicemails. Hey, Drew. Hey, scurvy booth jeans. This is Mike. Uh, so recently I've had a couple of fainting episodes, Mm-mm. but weirdly enough, they happen in situations where I'm kind of nervous. Mm. Uh, it's happened a couple times now. These situations have been in mostly just job interviews. Um, so yeah, really fun to pass out during a job interview. But I was wondering if that is just what I looked up as vasovagal syncope or does it have anything to do with um, my anxiety? Okay. And I also have OCD and yeah. I'm not sure if that's, these are panic attacks or syncope. No. I'm not sure, Drew. Let me know. Piss on me, beat me. Of course. You know I'm coming up in May. You know. So here's the deal, man. Never assume a significant symptom it has an emotional basis till you till you've ruled out significant medical problems. And sudden fainting from nervousness or from standing for prolonged periods of time or from heat can be caused by swooning, vasovagal reaction. But you have to rule out 20 other things first that are very serious. You could be having cardiac arrhythmias of many different types. You could have an arrhythm, you could have reentrant arrhythmias, which you must know about and get treated immediately. You could have supraventricular, vent- ventricular. You could have structural abnormalities in your heart that predispose to this kind of thing. You need a workup with a cardiologist, too sweet immediately. Yes. Yeah. And it could happen while you're driving a car, you know. So this is really serious stuff. So get it taken care of. Um, Listen ang- to it, Doctor. Anxious Drake. and you know when you're anxious is when your your sympathetic nervous system is toned up. And so you're putting out a bunch of adrenaline or epinephrine, uh, mm-hmm. catecholamines, and that increases the risk of all these cardiac things that I'm talking about. So they relate to each other, but you got you must get this thoroughly evaluated. All right, one more. Hey, Dr. Daddy. This is Taylor calling from Oklahoma. I have a question about uh, peeing and scratching your ass crack. Uh, <laughs> I recently, I was walking in my neighborhood, mm-hmm. and I, was, I scratched <laughs> the tip of my ass, because, or my ass crack, because it was itchy, and uh-huh. I just peed all over myself like i was a couple miles away from my house and i had to walk back in pissy pants wasn't a fan of it but um, yeah if you can give me an explanation of that that'd be great i like uh, this guy beat me don't be stingy and you bet i'm coming up in May. scratch my butthole piss on me <laughs> <laughs> uh there are lots of sort of autonomic reactions that can be triggered by various stimuli like intense fear oh my God. shock uh you somehow you trigger the you know the the bladder neck and the to release it, it, it's one of them things you know for you it's something i bet you could reproduce it see if it happened you know <laughs> oh, see God. if it happened again could, could um, that be the truth and like, then make there, a tiktok could it be the what like is there a secret button in everyone's no ass? no no <laughs> there isn't button. no there is <laughs> You make Susan so happy to dive. It makes it warms my soul. Secret button. <laughs> 
Secret button. I don't know, juice. Secret button. Scratch my butt hole. In your butt crack. See if I pee. Seek your button in your butt crack. Secret button in your butt crack. Um, so, no, oh that's him. God. That's just him. And everyone's a little different that way. So you get I love that. I walk back and piss the pants. And, and it may not even happen again. It might have been some sort of weird coincidence. Maybe you just really had to pee. Him a little bit. Maybe. Yeah. Give me another one. I had a dream last night. Did you pee your pants? You did? A pee-pee dream. Did you pee in the bed? Do you ever have a dream where you really have to go to the bathroom? Yes, and yes. Find... And it's usually because I have to go and I have yeah, to wake up and go. Yeah, did I had you pee that the bed? Night. No. I, I, when I was getting back into bed, I thought, wow, I really almost peed the bed. Interesting. Yeah. Thank you for not doing that. <laughs> I just farted really loud. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. It was, I needed to wake up and that was like. I know. Poof thought it was thunder but was it on his face <laughs> no it wasn't on my face i asked for it on my face just to, for full for full for full effect one of these days she'll give it to you and, and you guys of course <laughs> make sure to film it susan see that's the reaction i was going for you got it <laughs> so, and you did it was that fun <laughs> oh my god gotcha. yeah so <laughs> okay all right I'll, so i'll try and so she she's so confused by men and male humor. It's really that's part of the part of the charm and the funny here. Give me one more voice message. Hey Dr. Drew, this is Mike from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. I had a question for Dr. Jeans, mm. the denim doctor himself. Mm. The so denim doctor. I have this thing where I I have visual snow, so I see TV static all the time, basically especially in bright lights, but I also get floaters and stuff, so I thought it was a, something wrong with my eyes. I go to the eye doctor. They tell me it's something wrong with my eyes. I go to my doctor. They don't seem to know what the fuck they're talking about, but <laughs> from what I have looked up, it's a neurological thing, yeah. and I just want to make sure that that there's nothing I can do about it. I don't, I don't know. I just want to know if there's anything I can do yeah, about it. Mike, yeah, very annoying, yeah, and I'm concerned it might you know, indicate something else is wrong sure. with my brain. Of course. So, yeah, um, coming up in May, so I hope you'll touch my camera through the fence then. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mike. Uh, Mike, you do need to see a neurologist. There can be things going on in the back part of the brain that can give you all kinds of weird visual. This is an odd one, and when they're odd like that, yeah, when they're odd like that, they do tend to have a neurological basis to them, especially when you have, it, have it been checked out and you had no structural abnormalities. The only other thing I would make sure of is to be sure that they really did a full retinal exam on you because that's where this kind of thing could... Because the retina is part of your central nervous system, right? It's actually part of your brain. The, people don't think about it, but the, the, your eyes are actually your brain peeking out of your skull into the world. Mm -hmm. The first, you know, the, the second cranial nerve there. Uh, and it in so is your nose. Your nose is the other part of the brain creeping down to the, the olfactory Wait, sense. are eyes inside your body or outside your body? They're inside. Well, the, the surface is obviously outside, but the everything is inside. Mm -hmm. But it's in, but it's, but once wait you get minute. to the retina, you're in your central nervous minute, system. Wait. So yeah. just the, the outer layer of your eyes outside, but the rest of it's inside. The part that's, yeah, the part that's just like your skin is outside, right? Uh -huh. You have a covering over so your eye, eye that's skin. outside. Yeah, eye skin, exactly. Wait, What's wait, that? Are you saying that, wait, eyes are an organ, right? Organ, yes. All right. Are eyes the only organ that are both inside and outside the body? Ooh, good question. No, but it's one, it's, it's, it's probably, we have an, we have an olfactory organ too. Uh, but those are probably the two organs that are both inside and outside the central nervous system. Okay, so I think that would be accurate. Right. Wait, there's another thing to get inside? It's just an inside of a different... The, well, there's, there's something called the blood-brain barrier. The brain is actually separated from the body. It's inside, and then it's inside its own thing. Okay? The, the brain and the spinal cord. And your eyes are a, 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 a representation of that out to the periphery, and so is your nose. So the brain is inside inside the body? Yes, it's inside, inside. And it's even inside... It's inside the body... It's inside the a, a cranium. It's like it's inside a, 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 a skull, and it's inside a barrier, blood-brain barrier. Mm -hmm. so Interesting. So three times inside. Mm, sort of. It's just it's just another kind of inside. That's all. Let's put it that way. You, know how I know you guys are fucked with it because you know how I know you're a doctor. You just said like twenty-seven thousand words and didn't answer my question. Just, <laughs> is it both inside and outside? No. 
No. Okay. No. All right, fair enough. Yeah. No. Thank you. I was, I was trying to make it. I was trying to make it a yes by qualifying it. So when right. I heard that guy's story, yeah. I pictured the guy from Poltergeist looking at the TV with all the static. Oh yeah, is that right? So maybe there's just an alien in his head. Oh, that must be it. He's possessed. Yeah. Because that's everyone knows up. that. That's, oh, Andy will go for that. That's, that's why you brought that be, up. He Thank you. Be so paranoid. He's possessed by. <laughs> Andy is a. Alien it's there. a ghost. A ghost got him. I think. Yeah. He's yeah, got. Yeah, yeah. He's been. He's been possessed. Yeah. A ghost got him, Andy. Mm-hmm. I think maybe the ghost that was in your house is that guy, a ghost followed you to where? Are you, why are you talking about ghosts? were are in you, my house. There was no confirmation. Of are, are, you, are you still living in that house? Or did you move? Uh, I'm still in the house. Oh, right so right. I mean, I don't know by the time this comes up. Okay. <laughs> really? So are you moving closer to the city or, or closer to the city? Yeah. Close city. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm done living. All right. Well, now hey, you, well, we house prices have dropped. Radically. Yeah, there's good. It seems like when the people you pe- probably buy something, pile out of here during the. We don't know. We don't know the reason. Well, it seems like that when the school year ends, the prices get better. Well, I don't know. So if that's the take reason. a look. That's just it. All right. Enough, guys. We did it. We've uh, we've set it all. Booth Boys, great job as always. Good to be back. Thank Thank you. you, See you, buddy. Thanks for having me. See you next time. All conversations and information exchanged during participation of the Dr. Drew After Dark podcast or interaction on the drdrew.com website is intended for educational and entertainment purposes only. Do not confuse this with treatment or physician, medical advice, or direction per se. You must always follow your medical professional's advice and direction. Nothing on these podcasts or posted on this site supplements or supersedes the relationship and direction of your medical caretakers. Please understand, I am not playing the role of physician in this environment per se. I'm educating. I am a licensed physician with specialty boards in American Board of Internal Medicine and American Board of Addiction Medicine.